Is it us, or does it seem like you no sooner get yourself a brand new mobile phone, and the next day, the whole landscape changes? New hardware, new handsets, smartphones with unprecedented capabilities and totally new operating systems. Innovation happens faster and faster, and it's Sync's job to keep up with it. Our technologists work with device manufacturers to embrace change as it happens. That's why it's a good idea to keep your phone and Sync current with the latest updates. For your phone, follow your manufacturer's instructions. For Sync, we'll show you how to get updates right here. This process takes a few steps, so you'll need to have about 30 minutes to an hour of time to spare. Before you get started, visit your SyncMyRide.com owner account to see whether you have an update. If you do, we'll walk you through the steps of downloading the new update to your USB storage drive. After that, you'll need to go to your vehicle and install the update onto Sync itself. First, getting the update. Downloading step-by-step. Step. Make sure you have the right USB drive, one that's empty and not password or otherwise protected. If you have more than one Sync-equipped vehicle, get a separate drive for each to maintain each vehicle's unique applications. Now, plug it into your computer's USB port. Remember this port. You'll be using it again later. Now, visit SyncMyRide.com. For Windows users, we recommend using Internet Explorer. If you're on a Mac, use Firefox. Log in to your account. Go to the Update and Customize page to check to see if you have updates. If you do, follow the prompts to download them. You may want to leave this site open, since you'll be coming back here for your final step. And be sure to print your instructions when prompted. You'll take these to your vehicle for additional steps. Choose your drive. The files will start downloading automatically. Remember, don't remove your USB drive until your download is complete. Then, safely eject or remove the drive, and you're ready to install. Installing step-by-step. Step. Updates can take up to 20 minutes to install, so you'll need to keep your engine running and radio on throughout. Check that you have enough gas and time to do all this. Keep your car in park the whole time. Oh, and bear in mind that Sync will disconnect from your mobile phone or media device while all this is happening. First, insert the USB storage device into your vehicle's USB port. It should be on the dash or between the driver and front passenger seats. Start your vehicle completely and turn your radio on. Now press the radio aux button to select Sync. Then press the menu button. Now find System Settings with the Seek button. Then press OK. Find and select Advanced. Then choose Install Application. Next, Sync will ask if you want to install application. Press OK to confirm. Sync will automatically detect the files and installing application will display. Now, here's where things might get a little confusing. For most updates, you'll need to wait for not one, but two installation complete messages from Sync. The first one arrives after about 60 seconds, when the system displays installation complete. If it had trouble finding your files, or if the files were improperly formatted, the system will say, installation file cannot be found. Try downloading one more time. Once you get that first installation complete message, do not remove your USB drive or turn off your vehicle. Your system will probably reboot. Once it does, you'll hear a second audio message saying, Installation complete. Your cue that the update is finally done. You'll usually hear this message after about 5 to 10 minutes. Press OK to confirm the installation. Sometimes you might hear, the installation was unsuccessful, there may not be enough space, or it may not work with this version. Don't worry. Most of the time, your installation will work despite this message. If you do encounter any trouble, visit SyncMyRide.com for more support. You'll know the installation is complete because you'll be able to access your Sync menus. After you've done that, it's safe to remove your USB drive. Now, 
Pair your phone again and download your contacts. Your phone should still be paired to sync, but to ensure updates are synchronized with your phone, try a clean pairing. Check out our video on clean pairing to learn how. Finally, just go back to your computer and report a successful installation. This keeps your records up to date and helps with any future updates or troubleshooting. Select Update and Customize on the menu bar. Click Report Successful Installs. Insert your USB device in your computer in the same port you used to download the update file. Follow the prompts until you get a confirmation screen. And you're done! Check out SyncMyRide.com for any additional support. Your Ford dealer can also help you with the process, but you will incur a charge.